How you doing guys? Eamon Conway here from Ton Fly Fishing and today I'm on my local river and I'd love to share some of my tips that's going to help you 10x your catch rate when you're out urine infant. These are things that I have learned um, over the years of fishing and just gaining as much knowledge and experience as possible so I'm really delighted to share them with you here today so let's get into it. Okay so the very first tip that I'm going to talk about is fly casting. It doesn't matter if you're casting fly line or urine infant leaders, your fly casting has to be top notch. And the reason for this is because if you can precisely place your fly where you need to, you know, you will cut down on the, the length of time you take to get your fly to the fish, you know, and not only that, you'll put it where you want it. If you want it, if you see a fish, you'll cast to him, or if you see a lie, you'll be able to cast to that particular lie. So precision is key when it comes to fishing. It doesn't matter whether it's dry fly fishing or euro-nymphing, precision is key and it cuts down in time. And you save a lot more time for fishing than casting and that's just how it is. So that's the first one. Okay, so the next tip. When you're fishing, and I have done this before, I'm, I'm a, a guilty of this, is when I go to the river, I cast into the same spots, you know, you, you go for the likes of runs, this like that, and you're casting into the same spot over and over. What you need to do is multiply the areas you cast your flies into. And what I mean by that, just don't cast into the run, cast to the edge, you know, cast to the far side, aim for, you know, a tree if you see a lie. Multiply the amount of places you put your flies and you will utmost you you will multiply your catch rate it, it's it's pure logic you're just going to catch so much more fish by putting your flies in so many more places you know um and that's where the precision comes in once you're able to do that you can put your fly wherever you want and you will definitely see your catch rate go through the roof you know it's it's so simple it really is so that's another great tip to have and be conscious of it when you're on the river the next time just think about what you're doing. Don't go to the same place, you know, try different places and you'll up your catch rate. Okay, so the next one I'm going to talk about is closely related to the previous one. It's what I'm going to say is fish in a systematic order, okay? So what I mean by that is obviously not just fishing in the one place, but have a system. So fish on the edge. And work your way out once you've worked across move up a few meters and do the exact same and fish in a process that you're going to cover all of the river not just half not just a wee bit but every bit of it you know if you cannot do that if, if there's so much cover and things like that there um, and you're restricted you know go into fishing i suppose what i would say look for lies you know so Look for places where you know trout are going to be. So over here, overhanging trees, things like that there. Um, when the riverbed gets dark, you know that it's getting deeper. That's a typical trout lie. Throw your flies into those areas. If you cannot systematically fish it and you're looking for lies, you know, or combine the two. So fish the lies and fish systematically. Your catch rate is just going to go through the roof. It's just, you know... You, you'd be surprised um, where the fish will actually lie because I what I used to do is I used to think, oh, you know, fish will just lie in one particular place. But when I started fishing in a systematic way, you actually discover where the fish will also lie. And then you remember this. So, you know, this is how you gain your experience. So just if you're not too sure where the fish are going to lie, fish in a systematic sequence, you will find where to lie. And over time, You'll get all this experience and your catch rate will go through the roof. So we move on to the next one. Okay, folks. So the next one is Polaroids. Get yourself a good set of Polaroid glasses. And the reason for this is it's not just for safety. I know safety is a big thing, um, but it's seeing the water, seeing what the water looks like. Not, it's not just about taking the glare off the water and seeing where the fish actually are, looking, physically looking for. A fish or a group of fish but when you see 
the river or the water changing color, looking darker. That's how you know the bed of the river is actually getting deeper. And they are the lies where the fish will be. You know, just because you don't see the fish in them, they're very, very, very well camouflaged. You more than likely won't see them. But put your flies, run your flies through them or over them, and you'll be guaranteed there'll be a fish sitting there, maybe two or three fish. So Polaroids are key, and not only that, they're good for helping you navigate through the river as well, getting to more spots, you know. Um, they're a really, really key piece of kit when you're fly fishing. All right, so the next one I'm going to talk about is up your work rate. You know, put the effort in. Fish like crazy. When you have your casting down to a T, you will be able to cast, cast with precision. You'll get more casting in, catch more fish. Just up your work rate and you will catch a lot more fish. You'd be surprised. And last but not least, get more time on the river or wherever you're fishing. Get more experience and just keep going. Just get out there, spend as long as you can. I lived on the river when I was a kid, lived on it. I was there every weekend, you know, and then when I got older, any chance I got, I was on the river. So that's what it takes. If you want to up your catch rate, you need to get out there and get fishing. So I think those few points will definitely help you 10x your catch rate. Um, Without a shadow of a doubt, you know, your catch rate is going to go through the roof. And if it does, let me know. Um, I'd be keen to hear how you get on. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And I might see you in the bank soon. Thanks for watching. Good luck.